Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at ABS and nylon. So in the last episode, we did nylon and PETG, and it came out really good, and I was amazed. This came out almost as good. The only difference is the crown of it. I'll do a bit of an overlay of the microscope image. Uh, however, the layer lines, which I'll now switch over and do a microscope image of, came out even better than the PETG. I don't understand why the crown didn't fully form as this. One of the things that I'm thinking is that possibly could have been the nylon uh, had a bit more water in it at that point. As I mentioned in the prior video, nylon likes to absorb water. When it hits the hot end, it gets released as steam. So maybe that's, this portion was under extruded. I may do another test just to kind of see how this works and to see if that was the case. Uh, all in all, it appears to be lighter than the PETG version. It, it's really hard to tell because, again, there's a little bit different brimming uh, effects, and there's some PETG left over, as you can see in the base from the coloration here. So I think one of the pieces that I'm going to do is, is in the next phase of this, I'm going to take the ones that are successful and do some more tests with it. In other words, kind of, you know, print uh, you know, some sample cubes and then uh, print some target cubes, compare them for weight, resiliency, and those type of things. Also, dimensional accuracy. A viewer pointed that out. You know, it might be interesting to see what's the dimensional stability of combining these materials. Are we getting, you know, constriction, expansion, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I think I'm going to take a look at in some future videos as we get as we begin more experimentation with this. But so far with the nylon between PEDG and ABS, I, I'm really impressed at the performance of this. And the um, other piece is the adhesion. Now, I ran the bed on this only at, uh, I think, 70 degrees C, and I got real good adhesion. Now, it is a small part, you know, but it, it seems like the balance of mixing nylon with another component seems to improve both components. And that's what I'm really finding interesting about this. And nylon is a super strong component, too. So I'm very interested to see where all this goes, especially with the nylon. And then I'm also going to try nylon and TPU, because I think that could be a very interesting mix. So definitely stay tuned, because there's more of this coming. Let me know what your thoughts are below, and uh, let's have a conversation. What do you think such a material could be used for? So tell you what, don't forget to hit the subscribe button over there. Make sure you get that bell button. So release new content on a regular basis, swag shop up in the corner, and hey, we'll see you guys in the next video where we mix something else. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.